internet, my name is Lave, and I watched Christopher Robin, which is a completely separate film to Goodbye Christopher Robin, which was made and distributed by Fox, which was a serious family biography about the real Christopher Robin and the relationship that he had with his father. I have reviewed it, if you want to see it, you can click on the links in the description. This one is made by Disney and follows the fictional Christopher Robin, who has now grown up and forgotten about his friends from 100 Acre Woods. Now he's become a workaholic for a luggage company which isn't making profit so he's working twice as hard, much to the despair of his wife and his family. At the same time, Winnie the Pooh has lost his friends so he embarks on a journey to find Christopher Robin to help him find them. Along the way, they learn important lessons in life. So I was really looking forward to this one. As I say, I have seen Goodbye Christopher Robin and I was quite surprised at how somber that movie was about the whole creation of Winnie the Pooh and the whole family dynamics between Christopher Robin and his father, A.A. A. Milne. So I was hoping that this one was going to be much more light-hearted and fun and the trailer seemed to promise that, as well as people commenting on my Goodbye Christopher Robin review that this one was much more like Paddington. Unfortunately, I don't think it is at all. I found this movie quite dreary, which is a shame because it has all of the ingredients for it to be a fun family adventure. Euron McGregor is okay as Christopher Robin, he does what the script requires him to do, the voice actors for Pooh and his gang are spot on, and the CG work literally brings these toys to life. You just want to pick them up and take them home. But the film that they inhabit is so focused on the drama, I think kids today are going to find it quite boring. It kicks off with a five to ten minute montage of Christopher Robin growing up and going to World War II. He meets his wife and has their kid. When the montage finishes, it gets further bogged down by following him at work and dealing with his two-faced boss. He then goes home to his wife and his unhappy kid, who are so annoyed with him for working so much that they go on holiday without him. And that depressing tone is prevalent throughout the entire first act, so by the time Winnie the Pooh finally shows up, I felt like the film really needed to pay off in a big way. And to be fair to the film, it does try to introduce some hijinks and some comedy, but it's so infrequent and just not funny enough. And I think the reason why is because you don't actually see too much of Piglet or Eeyore or Tigger or Rabbit or Owl or Roo or any of the rest of the gang. You get plenty of Winnie the Pooh, but it's on this kind of weird road trip where they're trying to go back to Hundred Acre Woods to find the rest of the gang. I just think it needed much more of Tigger. <laughs> I just wonder if the script could have been adapted a little bit to have the wife and kids stay at home and make Christopher Robin go to his old house where it all kicks off and have everything just happen a bit sooner and have more of them in there. I think if you compare this film to something like Hook, which let's face it, these films are pretty much identical. The characters follow exactly the same story arc and it all leads to pretty much the same result. Granted, Hook isn't Spielberg's greatest work ever, but I do remember watching that as a kid and having lots of fun when they get to Neverland and it's all just crazy and fun. And I think this film is lacking in that fun. So that's my thoughts on Christopher Robin and pause the video if you want to take a closer look at my enjoyment tracker now. As an adult, I really appreciated the technical aspects of this film. It looks great. The production values are good. The CG characters are fantastic. I really like the fact that they went with CG toys as opposed to some sort of hybrid. The only exception to that is Owl and Rabbit who look like a real owl and a real rabbit. But that's a minor gripe. The, the sound design is also very good. I really like the fact that they included the Winnie the Pooh twinkle, the din 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 din. That's really nice. It's just the story elements for me which lack that spark of imagination and that sense of fun. It didn't satisfy the kid in me. Hello. So thanks very much for watching my review of Christopher Robin. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give this video a like and don't forget to share the lave. Yeah, it needed to be more tiggerish. <laughs>